what is up guys trickster boys here and we are doing today the spanish vault or coffee grinder vault whatever you want to call it it's basically a spin uh, on your foot i really like it it's very stylish and let's go to the tutorial so very quickly i will do the vault the complete one because i will teach you the half vault because it's easier to get started so the complete vault so the first thing is to do it on the ground because it's easier and it's less the risk the risk and i will do it slowly and then i will explain it so that foot for me just this so i will do it forward just this so to this move uh, i'm a left twister so i will do it on the left if you are a right twister just mirror all i'm saying so first thing like in a line to simulate already the wall you'll put your left foot and then place your left hand on the line to simulate the wall again and try to hold all of your weight on the leg for now and slightly bend backwards your chest so you are you are not gonna fall to this side and your weight is slightly to your back so place your left hand then extend your right leg in front of you and change the the hand placement to your right because when you're here your knee is gonna bend sideways and you don't want that you want to be as straight as possible and then you are going to applicate some tension on your leg so you are going to tie up this muscle like this and try to levitate this leg so you create a nice spin now slowly left hand start to the spin and then once you're here you want to jump with this leg and use this arm to push you up and place this hand again so you have all the support you need to stay on your feet like this so once more one so straight up your leg three four now in front of you left left straight your leg change the weight then cross change the hand again so now that you have half of the vault try it on on the wall because you need to get prepared to the actually vault and uh, learning all of the things on the ground it will be too much to put on the wall so get used to half on the wall then learn the complete on the ground and then pass it up to you so left left slowly fast to this moment when you change the hand and with here you applicate the tension to levitate your leg and it will pass here and then you jump you make some uh, some strength on the elbow on the shoulder and on the wrist simultaneously so you push as hard as you can to come back where you started as you can see I'm alone today so I can't record uh, forward towards me so I will do it just one more and try to demonstrate right here I won't pass it but like this you need to do this kind of exercise to train the leg motion once more simple enough let's let's go to some variations with half of the vault then I will explain the complete one so the coffee grinder it's a variation of the Spanish vault 
when you do a half Spanish vault and then you slide off. So you do the Spanish vault normal when you do this instead of jumping like we did on the ground. You just continue to spin and let your foot to slide to the uh, uh, upper part of your foot. So you do like this, stretch your foot very well so you don't get hurt in this. So you do the Spanish slowly when you are here, you slide off. Try to warm up your back as well so you don't do like uh, injured. Under one of my favorite variations. I think the last one it's the palm spin Spanish vault. Or Para. turn vault Spanish. Para. So I'm here now with Inacio behind the camera and Johnny over there because the day I tried to record this, the camera just. This was good? Yeah, yeah me, didn't so focus. I, tried to, I decided to try it again because I want. Uh, good quality in this tutorial so I was on the fake uh, Spanish vault so you will try the Spanish vault as well but when you are here when you're placing your right hand you just go to a safety like this you stop the spinning motion and just drop your leg over the wall so like this and drop um, do yourself a favor to when you are doing this use the force in this leg and throw your chest uh, towards this way so you will eventually go forward instead of backward or falling and now the coffee grinder so to approach this move uh, every variation or every simple or half or vault whatever in this case Spanish vault I usually I go this, then this. So foot, then hand. But I can go like hands, like I would do a conk or a vault, just a simple one. And then I, I put my weight above the wall and I place my foot. So it's up to you. It will help in different situations, in different lines or runs. So I will do it both ways. So this with the foot first and then with the hands so it's up to you so now to the completed one so the complete it's a little bit tricky but if you have not master but a good half Spanish it will be easy to, uh, for you so you will do the same thing you will arrive to here when you do this instead of just doing the putting the weight away from the wall you want to put towards the wall so your weight is pushing you into the wall and then instead of falling that which you don't want to you are going to switch this hand with this so the weight was on this then it will be on this and you, you want to cross your legs so you are doing like a vault or a tip so you are doing this then you jump as the, as the same as the other but now you put your weight to this way so you are going towards this way the momentum is going this way like this so I will do it again uh, with more speed like this take the practice because it's not easy I say I took a long to understand this move but when I did it was like really simple so once more sideways just this so the only variation I thought of is one that I I 
do. Uh, fake safety plus Spanish vault. So it's not a variation, but it's a unique vault with Spanish foundation. But I just use a uh, fake safety first. So this, then I place my weight just this way, and I do Spanish. So a uh, little bit tricky, trickier than the Spanish vault itself. So. It's not hard, but it's just tricky. You can do it easily if you try. So, I did put too much weight on that side, so I ended up going that side. So, that's not what I want. Nice. So, I placed my uh, safety, uh, my fake safety, comfortable, not think of foot placement, but just thinking that I need to use this momentum to start the spin, and I replace this foot to a little bit closer where I could spin easily, I start the spin, I put tension on my leg, and then I did the Spanish vault, like you already should know from this part of the video so basically you can watch the first tutorial of this channel which was the safety vault and you can combine the Spanish vault with almost all of the safety vault variations because in a step that I teach, teach you which is the Spanish vault with the safety now you can do whatever safety variation you want, so you can do a hyper, a 360, a double, just a fake one and then spin to another way, like this. You can do al almost everything you want, just be creative and enjoy the movement. I will try the um, Spanish vault to a fake safety spin, so Spanish vault to here, then to the spin. So, give it a try. Quite easy. So, remember to stretch very well this leg, the uh, plant leg, because your weight is almost uh, all on this leg, so it's kind of heavy. And stretch it out, warm up, very good. And this leg too, because you put some tension on this leg and you need to warm up good and stretch on both legs and wrists too because it's impact on the wrist and yeah do it with safety but enjoy every single step The last variation I know, or I think I thought of, it's to simulate the Spanish. Almost every, almost all the Spanish. When you're here, all the half Spanish. So when you're here, you place your foot here, then you, with the spin, you start turning, then you jump off. So it's not easy, you can clip and fall. So, do it very very slowly like I did so half Spanish place one uh, the right foot here then start uh, putting some weight on the foot start turning the foot like this then you'll continue the spin of the Spanish one so once more to this side This is the easiest version of the Spanish, but you can try with the leg here, like I did. But it's quite dangerous, you should take your time with this little step, and then try it out with the complete one. Just to finish things off, you can do Spanish vault, Spanish vault as many times as, as you want, 
but on the wall it's quite hard because you need to have a good foot placement but on the ground it's easier because you have a lot of space to put your left leg just uh, on the wall start doing this when you're here you want to do some tension on this leg too so the left leg do some tension and when the right pass the left you put it right back and do it over again so I will try to here but I'm not sure if I can do it but let's try it out I'm scared let's go yeah like this so the last variation it's with the completed one uh, you already need to know the complete version on the wall and maybe it will help the palm spin this so you do unfold and then try to reach all the way back to that way so you will do a vault a vault and try to put your leg here and to twist on your wrist so you get this motion and your weight around here so you want to have this vault maybe break it down in a corner because it's easy to get the motion and the rotation so now you that you have this and the turn just this you combine with the Spanish vault so the completed version so you start the palm spin you arrive here and you like you place your left foot to stir uh, to start the Spanish vault so like this so keep your hip and your weight close to the wall so you don't get balanced to this way or this way so while you're doing the palm spin keep your weight and your balance on the wall and then when you start the Spanish you you target the weight to this way so you can pass so it's a little bit tricky I learned yesterday I invented yesterday but it's it's a good move though if you want to say something else yeah when you are doing the Spanish fault or all the variations try to don't be like me and just fuck yourself and yeah do that he clipped it like one, three or four times twice yeah four times i think uh because i learned the palm spin turn the pa oh, palm, palm spin spanish. spanish vault but w i fucked up my spanish, spanish normal one yeah. and when i was trying again i just fucked myself right here I, and right here yeah so yeah so, be careful with your body a common mistake that he did it's not jumping when going here so his leg just clipped or he fell so keep the tension so the leg doesn't hit this and it goes high and jump when you're passing so you don't clip in yourself and fall so the last thing I have to say is don't get frustrated if you fail or if you lost the trick like he did he, he clipped it the third time and he threw his shoe to the road because he got mad at clipping and failing and getting injured so he called trying yeah. to the ground again it's not a problem to lose a trick or maybe you are not losing just you are not focused on the technique it's normal for everyone so get your time don't commit it and just injure just take your time break it down again you will land it sooner than when you are learning it you know the technique you are just just not focused you can do it so once again spanish ball fake ah. <laughs>